The Raptor Toolchain is a family of software products designed to guide businesses from concept to production as they develop control software for complex electromechanical systems, such as those found in hybrid or electric vehicles, mobile hydraulic systems, internal combustion engines, or other complex systems. The Raptor Toolchain consists of six unique software products, Raptor Dev, Raptor Cal, Raptor Service, Raptor Can, Raptor Test, and Raptor Telematics. Each of these tools' features, functionality, and workflows were designed by experienced application engineers hoping to improve upon the shortcomings of other software tools currently on the market. The Raptor toolchain was designed to work with an extensive line of automotive grade, production ready control modules and displays. Raptor Dev Raptor Dev is a library of customizable Simulink blocks that allow developers to quickly create custom control software for Raptor compatible control modules and displays. By writing code in Simulink, developers can avoid hand coding complicated control logic, which in traditional programming languages like C, C++, or Java can amount to hundreds of thousands of lines of code. Instead, Developers work directly in the Simulink environment with native Simulink blocks as well as Raptor Dev blocks, which allow access to hardware inputs and outputs. Raptor Dev even has Simulink libraries for CAN messaging, creating displays, data logging, and J1939. Once code is ready for testing, it can be directly compiled from Simulink in a single step. After the build process has completed, developers can move from using Raptor Dev to Raptor Cal. Raptor Cal allows developers to program, calibrate, or create displays for their control module. Raptor Cal users will likely appreciate a number of useful features that have been built into the program. These include an integrated data acquisition feature, or the ability to scan a given CAN bus and report all of the detected modules. Perhaps the most dramatic improvement over the popular calibration tools currently available on the market today is the simplified calibration management workflow. Users can create a new calibration file, transfer values to that file, and merge it into a new software build, all in a single step. Raptor test. Before testing unproven control software on the intended vehicle, platform, or prototype hardware, which may have cost millions of dollars to create, developers can first validate their control software on a test bench setup in their office or lab using Raptor Test. Raptor Test essentially allows developers to work out 90% of the bugs in their software before they try to run it on the real system. Raptor Test facilitates simulated hardware in the loop testing, which essentially means that developers can test their software while it's running on the same production control module they intend to use. Raptor Can No matter how much developers validate their software on a test bench beforehand, once they begin testing software on an actual vehicle or hardware, CAN bus issues will invariably arise. Developers will find Raptor CAN to be an indispensable tool when debugging CAN bus issues. Raptor CAN allows users to monitor, log, or transmit CAN bus data in engineering units. Users never need to see or work with raw CAN data. Raptor CAN is even capable of transmitting pre-recorded CAN data back onto the CAN bus. This powerful feature is especially useful for recreating scenarios without having to use the actual hardware that originally sent the messages. Raptor Telematics After you have worked out all of the bugs in your control software and released your software to customers, you may want to monitor data or perhaps implement new features as you receive customer feedback. Raptor Telematics is the perfect solution for this. It allows developers to broadcast over-the-air software updates and log system data or GPS location to the cloud. Developers can remotely flash new software builds or calibrations from their desk to vehicles or systems on the other side of the country, just as they would if they were standing next to the hardware. Raptor Service 
Raptor Service is another option for monitoring data or troubleshooting issues with hardware in the field. Raptor Service is essentially the same software as Raptor Cal, but without the calibration capabilities. It's primarily intended to be used by technicians for flashing software updates or troubleshooting issues with cus using custom displays and data logging. Raptor Control Modules and Displays all of the aforementioned, sof aforementioned software products are designed to work with a suite of rugged, weatherproof, automotive grade control modules and displays. These products are already produced in high volumes and have been proven in hundreds of applications as engine control modules, electric and hybrid vehicle supervisory controllers, or hydraulic control modules. These modules range in size from 20 pins to 196 pins and are versatile enough to work practically to work in practically any application. Raptor displays can even act as all-in-one control module display solutions thanks to built-in I.O. capabilities. For more information on any of the Raptor tools or Raptor control modules and displays, click on the link at the end of this video.